हाई एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑन सी ए बी जी सी पी टी कोडिंग गाइडलाइंस सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो मोर अबाउट कोडिंग गाइडलाइंस यू कैन जस्ट सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी अबाउट वट इज सी ए बी जी प्रोसीजर सी ए बी जी मीन्स कोरोनरी आर्टरी बाईपास ग्राफ्टिंग सर्जरी दिस प्रोसीजर क्रिएट्स अ न्यू पैथ फॉर ब्लड टू गो अराउंड अ ब्लॉक्ड और पार्शियली ब्लॉक्ड artery in the heart the surgery involves taking a healthy blood vessel from the chest or the leg area the vessel is connected below the blocked heart artery and also the upper end of the artery will be connected to the aorta directly so this new path will improve the blood flow to the heart muscle this is just a simple procedure like whenever we are going in a road and there is a heavy traffic what the traffic police will usually do they will try to divert the traffic through another route so this is just like that so coronary artery bypass grafting procedure is done to bypass the blocked area and restore the circulation to the heart muscle and it can also be called as coronary artery bypass grafting cabg or cabbage procedure or we can call it as heart bypass surgery coronary artery bypass graft surgery and normally what are the grafts do they use here they can use a piece of vein graft or a piece of an artery graft and sometimes it can be done as a combined arterial and venous graft that means one piece can be artery one piece can be vein so depending upon how the procedure is done is it done with vein graft or with arterial graft we have different codes and different guidelines so now let us move into guidelines for venous grafting only for coronary artery bypass procedure here they will be using only veins as grafts and what are the guidelines given here first you have to check whether they have used veins or arteries for the grafts if only veins are used you can use the following set of codes and what is the guidelines for these procedures in the second paragraph you can see in the first sentence that if they take saphenous vein for the grafting for all these procedures if they take saphenous vein as the graft you don't have to report any additional codes because it is always included in the cabg procedure saphenous vein is a vein which is found in the leg region so if they take it as a part of coronary artery bypass grafting you don't have to report any separate code for it the next guideline is if they are harvesting an upper extremity vein that means a vein that is taken from the upper extremity from the shoulder till the wrist region if they are taking any vein you have to report an additional code 35500 and this can be used if the procedure is done by open method but if they procure an upper extremity vein by using endoscopic approach then the code is different that is to be reported as 33508 and the next guideline says that if a femoropopliteal vein segment is taken for cabg procedures then you have to report 35572 in addition to the bypass procedure code and also if a surgical assistant is performing this graft procurement then you have to add modifier 80 with all these codes to say that the grafting was done by the surgical assistant so these are the guidelines regarding venous only grafts so now we will move to the codes from 33510 till 33516 all the codes are used according to the number of venous grafts that are used for coronary artery bypass grafting procedure and also remember that this is used only for veins only grafts so if the doctor is performing only veins as a graft then you can use these codes now just look into the picture you can see that there is just one vein graft that is used here so we can report it as and in this picture you can see that there are three vein grafts used so for both these questions just drop in your answers in the comments so now let us move to arterial grafting for coronary artery bypass grafting procedure if arteries are used we have only one set of codes whatever it is if it is only arterial grafting or if it is a combination of artery and veins we have only one set of codes so now we will look into the guidelines that are given under the arterial grafting first thing is whenever an arterial graft is done arterial grafting can be procured from following arteries like internal mammary artery gastroepiploic artery epigastric artery 
radial artery and arterial conduits procured from other sites. So these are the regions or these are the arteries from where we can take the arteries for grafting. And whenever an arterial and venous grafting is done, you have to report separate codes for the venous grafts along with these arterial codes. And one more guideline. If artery is taken from any other part of the body, you don't have to report any additional codes. Except if an artery is taken from upper extremity. For example, it can be a radial artery, axillary artery or a brachial artery. Then you have to report a separate code for the harvesting of that artery it has to be reported as double three five zero nine if it is an endoscopic procedure and if it is an open procedure then you have to report three five six double zero so this is the only specific guideline given if an upper extremity artery is used to for coronary artery bypass grafting you have to report an additional code don't forget this point this is very very important you have to check whether it is a radial artery or it can be a brachial artery or it can be an axillary artery. So these are the arteries which are commonly taken from the upper extremity for grafting. Okay, now we'll move to the codes. Here we have only four codes based on the number of arterial grafts used from 33533 till 33536. So all these codes are used based on the number of arterial grafts that are used. For example, if I use two arterial grafts, I can report it as 33534. So you just have to check the number of arterial grafts and then you have to report the codes. Now, if a combination of arterial and venous grafting is done, for arterial grafts you can use these codes. But if a venous graft is done in addition to arterial graft, you have to check the add-on codes from the combined arterial and venous grafting for coronary bypass procedures. There you have codes from 33517 till 33523. So again we have like uh, 6 codes over here according to the number of venous grafts that are used in addition to arterial grafts. This has to be always paired with the arterial codes because these are all add on codes. So when you check the codes you can see that there is a plus symbol. So from 33517 till 33523 all these are add on codes which have to be paired with the arterial codes according to the number of venous grafts that are done along with the arterial grafts. So now in this picture you can see that one artery graft and one vein graft is used. So how we are going to code this? You have to report the arterial code for the artery and also the add-on code for the vein graft. So always remember that you have to report the add-on codes for the vein graft that is done in addition to arterial grafts. There is one more code in this section 33530 which is used for re-operation coronary artery bypass procedure or valve procedure more than one month after the original operation. That means like patient has undergone a previous coronary artery bypass surgery or a valve procedure in the heart. But after one month he is coming for a re-surgery or a re-operation. You can report this 33530 as an add-on code with all the following codes that is given below that. Like you can see there, 33390, and also along with 33863, you can report this 33530 as an add-on code if a reoperation is done. So these are the guidelines regarding coronary artery bypass grafting procedure. Hope this video will be very much useful. And please don't forget to subscribe my channel for more updates on the CPT guidelines. Thank you.